During my month abroad, I learned more than I could have ever imagined, but perhaps the greatest lesson took place on Lady Elliot Island. From the moment I saw our destination, I knew this would be a place where a variety of memories were made. The initial view alone was enough to open my eyes to how much the Earth has to offer. But even with all of this in mind, it still surpassed all of my expectations. The island from above was beyond breathtaking, but what truly impacted me is what I took in from under the surface. After our initial training and multiple briefings, we were ready to embark on our adventure into what our scuba guide called the single greatest and most diverse dive spot in the world. That really is quite a line for a man who has completed over 2,000 dives. One by one, we followed each other down the guide rope, not knowing exactly what was waiting for us down there. With each movement forward, anticipation built as a new world came into focus. Once we finally reached our target depth of 40 feet, a sense of serene isolation took over, and a feeling of true independence that could never be replicated began to resonate, which words cannot come close to describing. It is still difficult to comprehend that this ecosystem is alive and running 24-7, 365, right below the surface. The biodiversity I observed was unimaginable and allowed me to see that I am merely a very small part of this truly incredible planet. As I made internal progress in realizing how great the Earth is and that humans do not have the right to view nature as a resource, I learned that this incredible reef was in danger. Although it is hard to imagine while looking at these visuals, the Great Barrier Reef is actually in poor condition. With already 20% of the reef lost and threats coming from both humans and nature, this earthly extremity could be lost within 30 to 50 years. As our field guide Dave Logan put it, the reef is resilient, but still under pressure. The threats of coral bleaching due to increased temperatures, as well as human-based coral destruction in the forms of government plans and improper diving practices need to be dealt with. External progress through communication can lead to internal progress, like what occurred with me. This chain of progression is crucial to sustaining this great gift of biodiversity known as the Great Barrier Reef.